Mga ka-RSP, panibagong Webes na naman at oras na para tuklasin na mga salita tungkol sa LGBTQIA plus community. Tama ka dyan, Rod. At ngayong araw, magbabahagi ulit kami sa inyo ng mga salita na tumutukoy sa sexual orientations. So ano ba bang inihintay natin? Let's G for G terms! O oh, ito, Prof. Pino, una sa listahan natin. Transgender. People whose gender identity is different from the gender they were taught to be at birth. Trans is often used as a shorthand for transgender. So example, biologically, ikaw ay pinanganak na lalaki o babae, pero ang orientation mo once na ikaw ay nagkaroon ng isip, ay babae ka, lalaki ka. So no? different from your so, physical. Yes, so transgender yan. Pero second is yung transgender woman. So you live as a woman today, but was taught to be male when she was born. So para nangyayari, in terms of being a transgender, ikaw ba ay trans woman or transgender woman? Mm -hmm. Okay naman yung isa ay? Trans man or ay. transgender man. Or live as a man today, but was taught to be female when he was born. Ayun. So, nakita natin difference dati. For instance, um, meron tayo mga, mga kaibigan na dati, lalaki sila. It's yung kanilang physical features. Pero from time, dahil sila ay nagpaba ng buhok. Because their orientation is that they're woman. Mm -hmm. so, diba? Yun yung mga bagay na alam natin na dapat ibigay sa kanila. You know, providing safe space. We give representations, especially on media. Diba? Kasi it empowers them to become who they are. It took them some time bago ilabas kung sino sila. And, you know, many people are against it. Not just being traditional or conservative. Pero they're just tolerating it. Sinasabi na, okay lang na maging bakla ka. Huwag ka na magpapahaba ng buho. That's not acceptance. That's tolerance, diba? And what we are going to give to these people aside from safe space, respect, ay yung pagkakaroon ng welcoming and affirming approach sa kanila. Napa importante dito yung compassion. Yan! Yeah, so Kasi may mga bagay na hindi mo naiintindihan ng marami, ng karamihan. Mm -hmm. Pero ang mahalaga dito, we're human beings. And maganda na irespeto natin yung nararamdaman nila o ano yung gusto nilang mangyari sa buhay nila. Kasi at the end of the day, life is too short. Yes, <laughs> diba? Parang mamatay ka na lang na hindi mo nalabas yung totoong ikaw dahil sa mga taong humahad lang sa'yo. Although sinasabi natin, we should not really think about other people's opinions. Pero hindi lahat ay ganoon yung kanilang pakiramdam. Kaya as much as possible, let's give them the safest place na pwede ibigay sa kanila. So yan muna ang mga salitang hatid namin sa inyo this Thursday. Abangan ang iba pang terms na iahatid namin sa inyo next week dito pa rin sa G-Terms! G -terms.